Welcome back everyone. He is a friend of father a teddy bear. This is how people know and describe Lindale head athletic trainer Travis Gray. But right now Gray is in the fight for his life as he battles COVID-19 in a North Texas hospital. Back here at home, several local school districts have stepped up to support him and his family during this very difficult time. KETK's Garrett Sanders has our story. Travis Gray has been a fixture on the sidelines and in locker rooms across East Texas, serving as athletic trainer in Brownsboro, TJC, and currently Lindale. But beyond taping up ankles, those who know him say he's been a shining light for anyone he meets. I think the only way to describe it is to know Travis is to love him. I mean, he would give his shirt off his back for anyone. He's super sweet, super nice, um, will help you with anything, incredible at his job, like very knowledgeable, willing to help anybody. Kids just love him. He's new to our school this year, but has already developed a great relationship with our student athletes. So they were just super, super, um, you know, concerned about him. But around Thanksgiving, Travis contracted COVID-19 and was admitted to a hospital in early December. It took a turn for the worse and was then moved to Fort Worth. It is currently on a life support machine. And kind of an emotional roller coaster, um, just ups and downs, good days, bad days. You know, we're, you know, holding on to the good days, you know, outweighing the bad days right now. Um, but they're holding up as well as they can. So Lindale took action to help organizing a fundraiser where students could pay a dollar to wear a hat to school with all the money going to help Travis and his family through this difficult time. And then it just kind of blew up in astronomical crazy proportions. Our other campuses decided to join us. So then it was the whole LISD faculty, staff, everybody was going to do hats. But it wasn't just Lindale. Brownsboro also joined in, along with Mineola, which was spearheaded by Lady Jacket softball coach Taylor Cheshire, who worked with Travis when she was an assistant at Brownsboro. Right away, I sent Mr. Mize, our superintendent, an email, and he was like on board just like that. It was incredible how fast it got started. Just trying to support them as best this, as we can during this has been just a huge thing that we felt like we needed to do because we're family. The road ahead is unknown, and as his family waits by his side, what they've seen through all this is another family, an East Texas family, who will be behind them no matter what. They're just speechless, and just they, uh, they truly want everyone to know how very thankful they are for all of the love and support and prayers um, that are, have been put out for them. Garrett Sanders, KETK Sports. East Texas stepping up as we always do. If you'd like to help support the Gray family, you can go to any Southside Bank location and tell them you want to make a donation to the Travis Gray Tragedy Fund. We have more information on our website, KETK.com.